Episode 6 of Xenoblade Chronicles X. I'm not going to lie, it's been like two weeks since I've played. I don't remember where we were or what we were doing. Uh, I do know that we apparently met Hulk Hogan or a doppelganger. Oh, there's a bunch of big stuff that wants to probably fight us. I'm going to have to relearn how to combat. Uh, three people in the party, looks like. It's a level 13. What level am I? How do I tell? That doesn't do it. Uh, there we go. I think that... I think that that's maybe stronger than me. But I can't tell. I don't know. Uh, I okay. Mini map tells us we go this way. Mini map is trying to kill us. Trying to take us down over there, maybe. Uh, let me pull up my map. Do I have a map? What's this? Issue orders. Okay. Oh, there's a lot of buttons in this game. Okay, there's my map. And yes, I do want to go that way. Got it. Sorry for the slow process of getting back into the swing of things. <clears throat> Since our last episode, which I think probably aired for you just on Friday, um, there's been big news that Nintendo is apparently ending all of the online functionality for various games for the 3DS and the Wii U. And that seems to be the current hot button topic, but I don't I don't really see how that is as big a deal as people seem to be trying to make it. I'd love to know how you feel about it down in the comments. Go ahead and participate in the channel growth by doing that. That'd be really sweet of you, honestly. Uh, these videos are averaging maybe 20 views um, each. And it's not a big deal because uh, I, I'm playing this game for me. This is the one Xenoblade game that I've never finished. Can't remember what any of the buttons do. Man, it, it left quick, huh? Uh-oh. I think that's armor. I don't know what this is. Just kill this guy. Oh, that's me drawing in his attention. I died. Okay. So, as you can see, I've completely forgotten how to play this game. Here we are at a landmark. What do I do? Go this way. See, these level sevens, I think these are the guys I should probably be trying to... Yeah. And then we can see, let's see. And flex topple. And then this. Blaze on a toppled enemy. 
from the side boosts damage. Yeah, we gotta relearn. As we get deeper into the game, we will undoubtedly learn a better way to organize our attacks across our tactical bar. Yeah, so I learned that they're taking... Oh, looks like I gotta fight this guy. I'm gonna stay back here. Um, I really am just kind of blindly using arts right now. And then there's a way to get away from me. All right, we leveled up. That's cool. But I don't remember any of the combat basics. Good thing I can go back and watch each episode until I feel fully refreshed. See, that guy's a little too strong, but we're going to do it again anyway. Shoot him right in the butt. Oh, something happened. Young Grix. Sounds like a rapper's name. Don't try to flex on Young Grix. Stab him in the butt. Now he's dead. Just like Tupac. That's how I killed Tupac. Alright, so I guess we keep running this direction. This is going to put me right down in the water. So on my map, yeah. I don't see getting over there that way. We're going to have to go down along the bridge. That guy's level 81, though. You're full of hell. That ain't happening. Maybe we can go up and around. Yeah, that's what we're going to have to do. Yeah, these enemies all seem more my speed. That's good. <clears throat> Speaking of Nintendo deciding to... Whoa. End the... Online support for Wii U games? That's, like, surely not... Surely not something that, that that's upsetting to terribly many players, right? Is he coming over here? I'm running. This game was mentioned in everybody's uproar. Um, and I... I don't know why I didn't know that it had an online component. Again, it's 2023 and I'm only just now starting to play the game. So that could have something to do with why I don't know. I, I don't even know whether I'm reading the... What is this? Am I supposed to be killing this thing? I 
guess I'll kill this thing. You see this game is very cumbersome. There we go. We'll get better. But what's the deal? Why why is everybody is everybody is there anybody who's even upset about losing uh the servers for these games? you're playing Mario Kart 8, I doubt you're playing Mario Kart 8 on Wii U. You're playing Deluxe on the Switch. If you're playing Splatoon, you're playing Splatoon 2 or 3 on the Switch. If this game has an online mode, and there's somebody else out there playing this game. Yo. Let's hook up. You got a Discord? I think we're getting almost to where we're supposed to be. Maybe not. I think we can get up there. The camera controls, I know, watching me do this is probably not very pleasant. Um, but I am doing my best. What? Now flowers? I know that it was probably like a, you know, baby's first cheat mode to be able to have the game literally spell out for you the direction you were supposed to go in Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition and 3, but uh, it was nice. This gives me more of an opportunity to learn the landscape, which is nice. Uh, I can tell that the team did work very hard to create something that would be identifiable during your travels if you actually pay attention to what you're doing. There we go. Let's see what's going on. Oh, a scale. I can't wait to get in one of those. Uh, yeah, let's investigate. My dude's ugly.
Um, <laughs> give me a choice of two synonyms. I think they want me to stand down, but I'm going to die. Oh, yeah, I did forget that. See, every time I should have gripped my weapon. Those are ugly looking dudes, huh? Alright. Shoot them. I got a bunch of black stuff on my feet. I still can't quite figure out the combat. Okay, now I know he's he's drawn on me because we have that. Uh, chain. Oh, that didn't work. There we go. Now tell us what's going on, game. I seem to be familiar with a group of soldiers who didn't like people who were different and they were just following orders. Sound familiar? Whoa. Leave me alone. Surely I'm too weak for that guy to want to bother me. Smash the A button. That was a poor design choice, and I'm not sure why it made it into the game. Oh, look at that. <clears throat> Wonder what that is. Looks like something from a Banjo Kazooie game. Again. 
The building looks like shit. All right, we know where we need to go. We're in chapter three. This guy has an eyeball and electricity. I don't know what that means, so I'm gonna shoot him. Looks like a little ostrich. He's so cute. Oh, I should have given that to Lynn. Oh no. Oh no, everybody's dead. Staying behind you. So I feel like I know what's going on with the combat, but at the same time, I really don't have any clue. Oh, he's just dead now. I don't have any idea what's going on. I know I'll learn because the game's combat is deep and it is not intuitive. Uh, it didn't take much time to give me a tutorial so I'm assuming that I'll just kind of learn it as I go along that's gonna be fine that's the best way to learn to do stuff anyway I feel like I should maybe fight some more dudes just for the sake of getting the experience and maybe learning a little better. Okay, so single enemy inflicts topple. Uh, draw his attention. That's what that is. Okay. Continuously restores HP, that's good. Yeah, pay attention to me. And I'm gonna keep shooting ya. Okay. Switch back and forth. Uh, inflicts blaze. Oh, it does increased versus toppled targets. This one topples. Sometimes. Attack the side. Little bonus. Cut him down. Okay. So yeah, it is a convoluted battle system. It's a lot like the battle system in the first Xenoblade Chronicles game. Um, which going into Xenoblade Chronicles 2 from Xenoblade Chronicles 1, I was honestly kind of upset that they had changed the battle system to what they ended up using in in two which I know like now uh, two and three have great battle systems they're easy mostly intuitive uh, and I, I gotta say I probably probably did prefer three over this for sure this is just missing a lot of despite all the information on the screen it's missing a lot of valuable stuff I feel and it's kind of hard to keep track with everything that's going on I 
I know there's a way to lock on to him, but I can't figure out how to do it. I like that. Yeah, I guess he's kind of locked on. Now, I remember we can install a data probe by mashing the A button, and it should give me something on my map. Yeah. It lets me fast travel to different places, but... Okay, we want to keep moving on. I'm trying to keep these to be 30-minute episodes, coming up on our deadline. So, let's see. Social. Okay. Um... Inventory, information, achievement, enemy index, collectopedia. We'll spend some time going through these menus in the next episode. And then hopefully here soon, we will be really starting to unload out of this opening tutorial segment and we'll start to actually explore the game's world because it seems like it has the potential to be massive which is exciting to me more people to kill so we'll go ahead and do some combat up here why not Sneak around, see that? I'm learning. I give myself a little armor boost before I take his attention. I don't think I'm very proficient with these little knives. It feels like I'm not doing very good. Oh, blade level up, okay. I don't know if that's just a regular level up or something else. Do that, do that, hit that, do this, heal myself, barely got it, a little armor. And wave my gun around. There you go. Oops, missed that. that. That's quick. That happens pretty quick. I'm not sure if that's armor that I'm getting. So where are we? Oh, this is a strong man. Let's see if we can't. He's he's a couple levels ahead of us. What's his name? Langul, the alien payload. Kill him. Well, I'm dying faster than he is. Now I'm healing faster than he is, and I'm not really sure why. I don't know what changed.
Got him. Worn combat souls. Take all that. So, the game wants me to go that direction. Probably up that there. I don't know, maybe that guy gave me some good armor or something. We'll make this the last fellow we fight. See if we can't do it right. See if we can't get into a rhythm. Get our armor on. And then we'll draw his attention. That'll give us time to get the folks off them. Melee attack again. Finish it out up close. I think we got it. We're getting better at combat. We are at the beginning stages of our infiltration. So as soon as we come back, we're going to finish out whatever mission we're doing. Enter Primordia's Sea Swept Base. And we'll search for the Pathfinders. Seems pretty straightforward. I'll see you guys on the next episode.